Hey everyone, what's up? It's me, Goose, your boy, you know, the dude, the guy, you know, whatever. Anyways, hey, what's up? We're doing another Skylar story because I saw Andre Aguera, you know, he made that comment again. He was like, yo, I like your new videos, yada, yada, yada. Stop being a dick shit and talk about Skylar again because we've all been asking for it. And you know, I I, I, I don't know why I haven't talked about Skylar. I guess I just never had the, 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 the right mindset to actually talk about him. But now I've had a lot of whiskey and a lot of Pepsi, which is a good mixture, by the way, but very basic, but it, it's good. If you want to mix your own shit, Pepsi and whiskey, pretty much the solid choice to make. Anyways, I have a lot of that in my system and in my blood, so I want to talk about another Skylar story, another thing that happened. But before we get that, I want to preface a, for, uh, a few things, right? Number one, this isn't scripted. So, I might stammer a bit, and I might not make sense a few times, especially because, number two, I'm a little, you know, I've been drinking whiskey. A lot of it, in fact. A concerning amount of it. So I might stammer and l slur and repeat myself, as I just did. You heard that? My god, I am a fucking asshole. And number three, this story, as entertaining as it might be, I don't know if it will be, I don't know, I don't want to suck my own dick, but as entertaining as they might be, Skyler is interesting to learn by himself, like who he is and who he was, and if you want to learn more about him, like the concept of Skyler and who he was and how amazing he is as a person, just click on the, the top, where, 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 where is it, top right, top right, yeah, top right card, and you'll learn more about him. Uh, but for now, we're gonna talk about one of the incidents that's happened to him. So if you're not familiar with Skylar, like I said, top right, click on that shit, learn about him, and then come back here, alright? So let's get into it. Alright, let me just take a little sip. Ah, that's good. Alright. So Skyler, as I mentioned before, he's very animalistic. He's a wolfkin kind of kid. He believes he's a wolf. He's got the tail, he's got the howls, he's got the barks, all that shit. Even though technically wolves don't do all the shit that he does, but whatever. And the thing is, there was one person that actually called him out on this, and it was a mutual friend of ours, I guess. Uh, we were just a, a circle of friends, really. Uh, Skylar, while he was technically not within the circle, he was within the shadows, <laughs> as, I, as I'm sure he wanted to be. He was within the shadows of our group. And he wanted to ask, the, the mutual friend that is, he wanted to ask Skylar a few things because I don't know if it was genuine curiosity or if it was something else. Like maybe he just wanted to tease the kid or something. But he asked him a few questions about his wolf kinness. And of course the basic questions came out, the, the basic answers came out, as basic as they are with a wolfkin, that is. So he would ask like, hey, if you're a wolf, you know, do you go out and like hunt animals and kill pigs and shit? And fucking Skylar would be like, no, no, I am not that kind of wolf. I would never hurt one of my own. I would never hurt one of my own. It's like one of your own, my dude. It's a pig. So it's just a, that's a what fucking wolves do. And yes, he. So he was kind of like, as as is these kinds of kittens are. He was an animal lover. I guess you know he he didn't want to actually hurt other animals. I don't think he even ate meat. <laughs> To be honest, I've never seen him eat lunch in the first place, but I, I would assume he, when he does eat, he doesn't actually eat meat. I mean, the man's as skinny as a fucking stick. I don't think he gets that much protein out of, you know, pigs and boars and shit. But yeah, the, the man was basically firing off these questions and <laughs> fucking Skylar, to his credit, was firing fast, like back at him. You know, he would say the cringy shit like, oh no, my, my wolfness comes out every full moon, but when the blue moon comes out, that's when I turn into something fierce. That's why I never come to school. So yes, he literally doesn't come to school once in a blue moon, but it's bullshit because he has. <laughs> and I, I was like, I remember the blue moon. You didn't you didn't, you, you came, though. He, he was like, oh, the, po the power of my bracelet contained it. It's like, okay, dude, whatever. Yeah, the bracelet fucking contained it, you shamanistic motherfucker. Sure, whatever. But <clears throat> there was one question. It was actually very interesting. And I, I felt like it, it, it stammered him very much so because it took him quite a few seconds to answer this question. And uh, this friend of ours, he asked... If you're a wolf, why don't you, why do you, why do you use the toilet, you know? And, and actually, why do you wear clothes if, why do you do that if you're a wolf? It took him a while to think about an answer. It's, in fact, he, I remember very vividly that he 
opened his mouth slightly like he was about to answer but like he, he brought it back like he brought back his words like it was about to exit out of his mouth and he was like uh, mm, um, mm. <laughs> it's like wow you got him you actually got what the fuck it's like and his answer was very nonsensical it was like i need to conform to humans otherwise otherwise i'll be outcasted and i i want to be part of the pack and like it, you're already outcasted dude like no offense you know you're 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 acting like a wolf and i want to mention this real quick because i i know a lot of people mentioned this back in the old video uh, a lot of you said that like i bullied him and you know, i should just leave him alone you know you should just do that and like I, I never bullied the kid i i never did that like i was bullied as a kid too you know i would never do that to someone else i, I didn't come up to him and be like hey faggot how's it going <laughs> No, I, I wouldn't do that. I, I would just ask him questions. I was genuinely curious. I like sticking by this kid. I was like curious as to what he was going to do, what he was going to like do next. Like, what kind of shit he's going to come up with? I maybe, maybe internally I was mocking the kid, but out, outside of that, I was never actually confronting him and being like a piece of shit as maybe this other friend of ours was. But he, he was just saying, like, I'm, I'm going to conform to human society and I have to be part of the pack or else I'll be shunned. And I wanna, I'll, I'm gonna take over, I'm gonna be the alpha wolf or some shit like that. I'm like, okay, sure, you're you're conforming to our society, I guess, but, but wouldn't being, but not everyone is a wolf. So wouldn't, what are you, Animalia, what is going on? And whatever, but I think that really got to him. I really think that got to him, the whole bathroom thing and the whole, you know, not wearing clothes. Because something happened. <laughs> something happened. It's, it's very wild. <laughs> oh, God. I'm fucking cringing my asshole right now thinking about it. Okay, so here's what happened. <laughs> Skyler is not a senior. Uh, I don't actually remember what, what how old he was. I, I believe he was a junior or a sophomore. And if you're outside of America, we were like second year, third year. He was like maybe 15 or 16 around the age, right? It was around the time we Americans, I don't know if the other countries have this, so please forgive my ignorance, but we Americans have something called like a senior prank here in schools. And a senior prank essentially is just as it sounds, we seniors collaborate and think about like, oh, how can we prank the school? Because, you know, we're, we're leaving. We're, we're done with school. This is the last year we can do things uh how can we prank the school you know it's like it's, a, it's like a friendly thing usually it's a very friendly thing uh there were some horror stories there was like fucking oh tear gas and shit it was terrible there's a lot of terrible stories but this one was weird because it wasn't a senior prank but everyone thought it was so this is what happened there was an incident, I was just like in class, I was like in fifth period, sixth period, it was like near the end of the day. And I was like, just, you know, I'm fucking learning about history, how, you know, Martin Luther King and all that stuff, right? And I'm like, ah, oh, that's interesting, whatever, I like history, it's cool. And then something in the, the speakers, somebody was called, and I believe it was the, 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 president or somebody but there was a there was a scandal going on while i was doing this history class because apparently we found this out like a few hours later like the, the the word spread fast as fuck but apparently someone that day took a shit <laughs> they took a shit in the bushes because there's a this school is surrounded by forest but this shit was very close to the school and s close to the like the 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 foliage of the school i don't know how, how do you call it but there's like behind the bushes someone saw someone i, I believe it was the the student body president or whatever she saw someone in the bushes with their pants down taking a shit <laughs> and apparently this person ran away very fast and you know they're behind bushes so she could barely get a good glance at her uh, or a gl good glance at the the person who did this but she was like oh my god and he ran away like as fast as fucking lightning apparently and he got away with it he, he went into the forest he went into the fucking forest of the school, school. <laughs> like a fucking werewolf or something i i'm not gonna allege anything but like someone took a massive dump a massive caca doo doo do dookie <laughs> fuck i can't talk well a massive caca man it was it was right there nobody saw it i didn't see it but the fucking student body council and whoever cleaned it up saw it but apparently it was massive she she was a very gossipy lady a very gossipy teenager she, she talked about 
big the fucking thing was. And it was weird because for well, for a week now, it, everybody thought it was like a senior print because it was just towards the end of the, the the year. It was like May or April or something like that. And everybody was like, what the fuck kind of senior prank is that? Why would you take a shit in front of the school behind the bushes? Everybody was questioning everything. There's like a lot of questioning. I got questioned. Uh, it, it, because I, I got questioned personally because I, um, <laughs> I was close. The classroom was close. So everybody in my class got, got questioned to it. So we were in front of the building, or like the window, and, you know, maybe we saw something. Maybe somebody saw something. But nobody saw anything except for the student body council or student body president. Um, uh, but, like, in the back of my mind and in the back of my circle of friends' mind, it's like, holy shit, I think it was Skylar. I think it was Skylar. But we didn't have any proof of it. I mean, there's not, they're not going to DNA test a fucking piece of shit. I, I think, I mean, that that I'm sure that's a crime. But how are you going to DNA test a piece of shit? And I personally think it was Skylar because I, I remember that he was questioned about why do you take a shit in front of the bush or in front of the... I mean, why do you take a shit in a bathroom? I guess I could see in his eyes that it was really, it really phased him. And I remember he actually was absent for like a whole week after that. Like he was just gone. Apparently he got sick or something. But like he was there earlier that day. I remember that. I, I, I don't know. I just feel, I, I don't know. I don't know. I never question him about it. How could you just question someone about that? How do you come up to your friend and be like, did you take a shit? in front of the whole school how do you question someone like that i never questioned him but i knew in my heart in my fucking soul that this kid did it he did it i know he did it i just i could see <laughs> we actually mentioned the whole shitting story when he came back uh we were like hey did you hear about the whole shitting thing he and all he did was like he did like a very cliche anime laugh he was like <laughs> no <laughs> You fucking did it, motherfucker. You absolutely did. You absolute madman. You did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. I'm not going to turn him in, though. I'm not going to snitch on him. The kid has a problem acting like he's a wolfkin. A very scrawny wolfkin that apparently produces incredible amounts of shit. I guess he does eat meat. <laughs> My God. It's not as crazy of a story as Skylar is. You know, when you learn about Skylar, I feel like that's the most entertaining part about him. But I feel like that story, it, it resonates with me because this is a man who would defy his own classmates. Anybody who questions his shit, literally, anybody who questions him is just going to be like, you know what? You ask that question, I'm going to fucking prove you wrong. I can take a shit in the wild, too. I don't know why he chose the fucking four uh, i mean the bushes oh, but he, he did it i and I, I feel like you know what i kind of feel like he, he was thinking he was marking his territory in some weird wolfy way but that rocked man that was fucking hardcore that was rad ah <sighs> But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy that story. Fuck, man. Like I said, I think it's more interesting learning about Skylar himself than it is hearing about his misadventures. But, or, or you know, I'm alleging, I'm, I'm assuming he did it. I, it there's, nobody ever found out who did it, but I, I think it's more entertaining learning who he is than who, who what he did. And I don't know what he's doing now. I don't, I still, I, I, I want to say that I know his name, but I don't actually want to look it up. You know, because I'm, I'm afraid that... In the back of my mind, I'm afraid that he's still a wolfkin, you know, and that that's that that's what fears that, that that's what scares me because I don't want him to be like that, man. I hope he's a real grown up ass man, and he 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 has some responsibility himself. And it was a phase, but if I actually Google him and I Facebook him or, or something like that, I find out he's actually a fucking wolfkin forever, like he's a shaman in Mexico or something like that, and he's like a wolf fucker. Is like, oh my god, I'm not gonna even pretend i know the dude <sighs> but that's skylar's story about how he probably most likely took a shit anyways guys i know this this video is very sloppy and very unedited and you know ugh, here and there but um I, I thank you all so very much for subscribing i hit forty thousand subscribers a while ago 
and I felt like this was a very 40,000 subscriber ish kind of uh, celebration for y'all because I know a lot of y'all have, have been asking more Skylar stories and there's still a few more that I remember but uh we'll have to uh save that for another celebration I don't know maybe 80,000 subs and we'll talk about Skylar again every 40,000 subs and we'll talk about Skylar how about that deal cool all right uh, oh man, I just remember something. All right, let's talk about that later. All right, thank you guys so very much for watching. Again, sorry for the sloppy editing and sorry for the no script. I know I've been rambling a lot and this is pretty long for a Skylar story, but uh, seriously though, I love you guys. Thank you so much for 40,000 subs. And I guess I'll see y'all later. All right, new video Wednesday and Fridays, every Monday, fri uh, Wednesday, Fridays. All right, cool. Love y'all so very much. Thank you all for subscribing. Love y'all. Bye.